Everybody, Heather here. So today we're going to be coloring the super cute magnolia image called Tilda in the Forest. And this will be a completely different color for me. Um, it's a lot of browns. I've got 19 in there. So it's kind of a darker image. Something I wouldn't normally pick, but I found it blog hopping and I thought it would be fun to um, try it out. So I'm going to put a link to all the supplies I use down in the description box. So if you want to head over to the store and grab a kit, you can. Or there's lots of other things for you to choose from. So I've stamped my image already on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. So let's start out by outlining our image and for that we're going to use W5, 3, 2, and 1. Then we're going to use E41, E40 and our colorless blender. So I'm going to start with my W5 and I'm going to add where I want to have some dark shadows first. So let's go ahead and do just a little bit underneath of her feet. And we're going to connect it over here to this foot. And I'm going to bring it around. Like that. And then let's go up here and let's add some shadows on her leg. So I'm going to use just the very tip of my pen and just very lightly add a line right next to her body. Well, her shoe. And I'm trying not to make it too thick. And let's bring this side down just to here. And then over here, I'm going to do, there's a little space where her hair and her pants don't, um, you can see through to the back. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in here, right next to her pants. And then up here, we're going to go right in here. There's a little space between her shirt and this axe. So I'm going to go ahead and draw right in there. So again, do a thin line next to her shirt, down the axe handle, and then down the bottom of her shirt. And I want to draw a little bit right next to the axe handle too. So it's got, I went all the way around. And then over here on the axe handle, I'm going to give it a little bit of color where her hair is and then the bottom of the axe handle. So there's just a little bit there. And then we'll skip up here on top of the axe, again, between her hair and there's her shirt and then the axe handle, there's a little bit of background space. So we're going to go ahead and outline that. And then for her hair over here, I'm going to go on this side of her hair and I'm going to go underneath of her hat and I'm going to come down here to where it stops above the tassel and then let's go ahead and do this well let's start up here at the top it might be a little bit easier for me to to keep track so I'm going to go right above um, where her hand her little thumb is right here so I'm going to start right there and I'm going to go down this side clear down to the bottom of the tassel. So I'm going to draw a thin line right next to her. And go down to the bottom of the tassel right here. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn her a little, turn her upside down so that I can um, do this side. So over here, where her hand is touching her face, I'm going to do a little bit right here, and then where her cheek is and her hair, I'm going to give that a little dab. Okay, I'm going to turn it back around here so I can flip her up so I can see what she's doing, and then let's do. 
So I'm going to go up here towards her handle on, on this, the axe. And then over here, I'm going to go down the bottom of the handle, and I want to go next to her glove, and then kind of fade out before I get to the end of her glove there. And then let's add a little bit underneath of her armpit. And let's add a little bit down here next to her boot. Okay, and I'm liking that. So I'm going to leave that for my W5. And next we're going to grab our W3. And this time, let's go down here and add a little bit more down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go right over the top of this color I already laid down. Just flick out a little bit more. And on your piece, it's going to be, it's an oval. It's already cut out for you on the oval piece. So like, like this. So you're going to have a lot less space to color in. I'm just going to fill mine in as I go and then use it in my project life. But on here, I did color all the way. When I got all the colors in, it comes clear out to the edge of my oval. So again, I've got W3, so let's go in here and I'm going to, I stopped right here with my W5, so I want to come down the rest of the way on her leg on this side with this color. And then on this color, I want to brush over the top and bring that line out a little bit more. Okay, and then let's go up here and grab these two little areas um, that have a little bit of space showing. So this one I'm going to fill it all the way in because there's not hardly any space. But this one I'm going to try to leave a little bit of white space. If I don't, that's fine. And then the rest of her, I just want to go all the way around and connect to the bottom. So I'm just going to work my way around, add some color. Same for here, we want to do this side. Go around the little swirl for her hair. And we're just going to work our way around. I tried to do it this time. The, when I found this on the internet, someone else had colored it. And I, these are not the colors I normally pick. They're way, there's way more um, browns, and it's a lot darker than something I would normally do. But I thought it would be fun to try something new and um, just see how it went. And so I think that when I colored it the first time, it, it went pretty good, so I ended up sticking with these colors. But it made the outside, coloring all these dark colors on there, gave it the illusion that maybe it was dusk outside. work your way back down to the bottom here. Back down to our boot. And then we put that one away. And then we're going to grab W2. And again, let's do right in here in the inside. So let's go ahead and fill in a little bit more of this space. And if you fill it in all the way, that's awesome. I'm going to try to leave a little bit of white and just grab the edge there. And then here's a little bit of white still left in this little section. And then I'm going to go ahead, even though I colored that one, in, this one in, I'm going to go right over it. And then let's fill in between the tassel here because there's not much space left. And now I'm going to take, and I'm going to lay my pin down, it's kind of sideways, and I'm going to flick out a little bit further. So I'm laying my pin down on top of the color, and like a check mark, I'm dragging it away from the My Girl. So as I, I have more ink as I set my pin down, but as I get away from her, the check mark, my hand automatically picks up, and so it's getting a little bit lighter. Let me turn my girl here a little bit. And then we're going to do the 
the same thing on this side. Actually, let me turn her sideways here. It'll be a little bit easier to, to flick that way for me. And I'm just going to work my way right up the side here. And this way, too, if I accidentally touch her, um, I can use my Colors of Splendor to erase it. I tried to be really careful with the um, two previous colors because they're pretty dark, so it would take a little bit more to erase those. So I tried not to touch too much on there. Okay, now we're going to put that one away. And we're going to grab W1, and the same thing, I want to go over, I'm going to fill in this center section here. And then I want to just go right along the edge here where I was coloring, and I want to flick right over the top of that line and pull out. And you can kind of decide on yours, because you remember you have an oval, how far out you need to go. And then let me turn it this way. So I can flick from down here. And then I almost forgot we got to do down here at the bottom, too. Next, I'm going to grab E41. So we're going to go right over the top of all these colors. So you want to color in between here. Same for these two little spots. going to brush right over and kind of go past um, the last color I laid down just a little bit, depending on how much space, again, you have left. Let me turn it this way so I can flick from this side. Grab my E40. And I'm going to go ahead and swirl in here. Kind of blend those colors together a little bit more. And then again, I'm just going to work my way around the side. Let's start up here and brush over the top and out past my last color. Same for this side. And again, you may not have this, you're obviously not going to have this much room because the oval doesn't fit out this far. So your strokes are going to be a little bit smaller. Then, after I got all my colors on there, I'm going to take my colorless blender, and this works best if your blender is full, and I'm just going to go over the top of it. So I'm just scrubbing it back and forth. Does it matter that you go over the top of her? If you're worried, brush around the other side. and I, I forgot a little spot right there. So I'm going to grab W5 again, and right here between her glove and um, the axe handle, she's got a little bit of a space. So I'm going to take my W5. W3. W2. And then since I filled it all the way in, I'm going to grab um, E41. And 
and E40. Next, let's go do this little bit of skin she's got showing right there. And so for that, I'm going to use E13, E11, E21, and E51. A totally new new color again. So I'm going to start with my E13, and I'm going to give it just a little dab right here next to her cheek and kind of under this first little section of hair. Then I'm going to go with E11. I'm going to brush right over the top of that little line I just laid down. And I'm going to continue next to her hair here with a new little line. And then E21. And again, you're going to brush over the top of your last color. I'm going to pull that out. So I've got a little patch of white left. Oops, which I'm going to fill in with E51. And then for the cheeks, I'm going to use R22. So let's give it a little bit of red right here. And then I'm going to take my E51 and go over the top of that. So let's move on to our hair. For that, we're going to use E29, E44, E43, E41, and E40. And I'm going to start with my E44. And I'm going to go up here and I want to add um, a little bit of shadows um, next to her hat. So let's do... So I'm just going to go over a few of these little lines she has that shows on the stamp from where I stamped it. And just use those as my guide for some for a few little bits of color. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to work on a ponytail. So she's got a little bit of ponytail down here that's showing underneath this bow from her shoe. And then I'm just going to work my way up adding a little bit of color. I'm picking some places that look like they are um, coming from behind. So like this little spot looks like it kind of folds behind this little section here. And then this section here comes out from behind this axe. So I'm going to go ahead and flick a couple little sections in there. And then where it's curling out here underneath of the axe. And then work my way up to the base of her skull down here. But it's kind of coming out of her hat. And then work me over here to this little ponytail. So let's add a couple little flicks right here where it's coming out from underneath of her hat. And just work my way down the back. And I try to keep my um, flicks going in the direction that the hair is moving or flowing. like that. And then I'm going to go with my next color, which is E43. And so let's go up here back up to the bangs. Add a little bit more color up here. And they're kind of sparse, so you have to use just a little bit. And then work your way back along each of these little sections and just add some more color. tip my paper a little bit so I can go right along these lines that the hair is growing in already. There. My hand was just at an odd angle there. It's kind of hard to go around in a circle right on that top part. And 
and the ponytail down here. I'm going to grab your next color, which is E41. I'm going to go up here and add a little bit more to my bangs. And then again, just come down here and add some more color onto the rest. I'm going to fill it in with my E40. I'm just going to give it a quick swish over the entire area. Up here at the bangs. And then I'm going to take my darkest color, which is E29, and come back and add a few little dark patches. So I'm going to add some lines up here in her bangs. And I'm just using just a little bit. Work your way back along to the bottom. And I try to use just the tip so that it just gives it a few little dark streaks, not too thick work on her pants and her gloves next and for that we're going to use E29, E27, E25, E23, and E31. I'm going to start with my E29. I'm going to go up here. Let's do the gloves first. So I'm going to add a little bit of my E29 right next to where her bangs are touching her glove. And then let's do right over here. Kind of looks like it's kind of underneath a little bit. A little bit over there. And then for this glove, I'm going to do on the top. And then I'm going to follow these little lines that the artist already put there for me. And I'm going to bring this line down around here like this. And then let's go ahead and bring it all the way over to here. And then bring this line in a little bit. And then it kind of wraps around her, the little, she's got her hand holding the axe there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go with E27. So we'll add a little bit more color up here. And then I just want to bring this color on this glove out a little bit more. Then we're going to get E25.
E23. And then we want to fill it in with our E31. Next, let's move down here to pants, and again, we're going to start with our E29. Let's add some of that underneath the crease of her little boot right here, of her, of her fanny. And then let's bring it down here and go to her top of her little um, trousers there. And let's give this little section, there's a little wrinkle right there, so I'm going to give that a little dab. And let's go ahead and go underneath the axe. And she's got a couple little creases right there I'm going to go ahead and put some color on. And let's go down the inside of these, this side of her jeans or her pants. And then let's do just a little bit right here in this crease. And maybe a little bit right here where her hair is kind of touching her pants. Like that. And come down. Like so. Next we're going to grab E27. I'm going to add a little bit of that along that, that last line. Oh, and Diki has decided to join us. She's trying to figure out what I'm doing in here talking to myself. My husband brought Lexi up to have her bath for the night, so they came with him. And they're like, oh, you're doing a video? And off they went. Okay, let's do a little bit on that wrinkle. And come around here a little bit. And then let's add a little bit right here. She's got a little bit of a dip in her pants right there. I don't want to get too dark, so I'm just going to use that color like that. Then I'm going to go with E25. top of the last colors and leave a little bit of space there. I don't want it to get too dark. Oops. Be careful around her hair. And maybe come down right next to her hair with this color. Next, I'm going to grab E23. And I filled that little section in. And the back behind her jeans here. And then let's pull this color in just a little bit. But I want to leave a little bit for my last color, so I don't want to pull it all the way out and cover up all my space. And then E31, we're going to go over the whole area. And like that. And they, I got them, the whole jean, the whole section seems like it's a lot darker than it was the first time I colored it, so I must have pressed a little bit harder with my pen and used a lot more ink. But those look pretty good.
Let's move over here and do the axe handle next. And for that, we're going to use E29, E44, E43, and E41. I'm going to start with my E29. And I just want to add um, a few places for some shadows. So let's go right along the bottom of the handle and next to our glove. Same for this side. And I'm going to bring it up over her shoulder. And then right here, she's got a little bit of her axe handle showing between her hair. We're just going to work our way to the end. And for the end of the thing, I'm going to do just the bottom here. I'm going to leave the, the, this end open. Next, let's do E44. So we want to soften those colors we just laid down. So I'm going to go ahead and just brush on top of that the last line just a little bit. bit of this color right here on the end. And then I'm going to go with um, E43. I filled this little section in. There's hardly any left there. And then I'm going to fill it the rest of the way in with E41. So I also want to use these colors on the string that's on the tassel over here. So I'm going to grab my E29, and I'm just going to give the E29 a little dab on each side, and then E44. E43. And then E41 to fill it in. Let's work on the axe, um, the actual blade, the suspenders, and her boots. And for that, we're going to use W5, W3, and W2. I'm going to start with my W5. And let's go ahead and just start here on the axe um, blade. So I'm going to add to right up here at the top. Draw me a little line here across the edge. And I'm going to pull down from that line just a little bit so I don't have to worry about going outside the lines. And then same for the bottom. I'm just going to flick up from the bottom of the blade. And since the pants are so dark right there, I'm not worried about touching that. And then I'm going to grab W3. I'm going to get inside the blade right here. And then W2. Fill in the rest of this section over here. And then let's pull down. And I already know I want to do it a second time, so I'm not going to fill it all the way in. I'm going to leave a little bit of white there. I'm going to go again with my W5, and I think I'll actually put a little bit of that right here on the inside of this blade too, on where it curves in there. three and then my W two to fill it in. Let's go over here and do her suspenders because they're just a little bitty spot. So again, I've got W5, and I'm going to do just a little dab right next to where her shirt is touching their suspender. And then there's this little section right here where it looks like you can see the side. I'm going to go ahead and color that in. And then W3. Um, and then fill it in with W2.
And then let's move down here for our boots. So again, I'm going to grab my W5. Let's go right next to the string she's got here. Like that. And then I'm going to do right here in the little crease. And underneath of this um, string she's got her the tie that's going around her boot. And then also right in between there's like a little, there's um, two ties and then there's a little space where there's no tie. So I'm going to do a little dab in there. And then let's do the bottom. And along the back. And then same for this side. I'm going to go right along where the string is, or the tie. And again, there's a little bit here that's showing in between. And then underneath. And along the bottom. I'm going to give this a little bit of a crease right here at the back of our boot. And we're going to go with W3. And you want to go right over the top of that last color and just soften it a little bit. I'm going to fill in right here in between the string if there's any left. Just work my way along each boot here. And then I'm going to fill them in with my W2. darken the boots up just a little bit more so I'm going to start over so I've grabbed my W5 and I'm just going to go back over my color B3. And then W2 to fill it all the way in. Next, we're going to do all the other stuff that's left. So for that, we're going to use T5, E18, E09, E19, E08, E17, E15, and E13. So I'm going to start with my T5, and let's do these bows down here on her boots first. So I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow right here on the edges of her boots. And I'm not going to make it through all the colors um, for the little ties here. Which, let's do this side here, too. Next, I'm going to go with E18, and you go. I'm going to go right over the top of that last color. E09. I'm going to fill this side in, and this bows. E19. E15. 
E08. And those were the little sky lights. So I left three colors that I didn't use on the strings there because I ran out of room. So now let's go up here and do the tassel. So again, I'm going to start with my T5. E18. E09. E19. E seventeen and then I'm going to take my E thirteen just to go over it. Let's next go over here and do um, her, she's got a couple little stripes inside of her shirt. So I'm going to skip T5, I'm going to go with E18, and I'm going to do this top one, and then I'm going to skip one, I'm going to go down, because I left some white, and then E09, so I'm filling in this top um, stripe, and then I'm going to dab a little bit of my E19 just on the end of this one. For those. Okay, t-shirt. Let's do, well, no, let's go do our hat next. Okay, so grab your T5 um, and let's add some shadows down here on the bottom. E18. I'm just going to go right back over that color I just laid down and just do a small amount right next to the line. And I also want to do the same thing on this side. Next, we're going to grab E09, and this time I'm going to go up over all that gray I put down. E19's next. I'm going to go down from this side. E08. E09. 
E17. E15. And then I'm going to fill it all in with my E13. I'm going to go all the way from the side, all the way across. Same from this way. I think I'm going to go up from the bottom here. So after I got her all colored, I took my Spica Glitter pen and I added some sparkles in here to her hair. Nothing too serious. I just kind of followed some of the lines I'd used um, on her hair already and gave her a little bit of glitter and sparkle in there. So there she is all colored up. Doesn't she look awesome? And again, here is the finished card. Whoops, wrong way. I'll put, if you're interested in this card kit, there's very few, so if you want one, head over to the store and pick one up. I'll put um, the description, or links to all the stuff I use down in the description box. Also, if you like the video, please hit the like button. That would be awesome. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, um, hit that, and you can get all the updates for all the videos I do. Also, if you have a question, please leave me a comment, and I will get back to you on that. I'm happy to answer all your questions. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring with me today, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.